it would be easier considering I will want to um, zoom in and out of areas so this is my happy mail I got this in the mail this morning as Jane Greenhoff's cross stitch antique style samplers now it says here 30th anniversary edition with brand new charts and designs so I thought okay for $12 because I got this one from Amazon I thought that was a good price so, and I it looks it's a beautiful book it really really is now publishers here we go so that's zooming in D and C www David and Charles www.so and so dot co dot uk I'll do the publishing details first so we've got here ISBN if you're interested um, that's the back of the book so it says here to celebrate Jane Greenhoff's 30th year of stitching this new edition of her classic best-selling book includes brand new sampler charts and an extended stitch library of more inspirational examples of antique samplers from Jane's collection. Now I got this from Amazon Australia and I thought I'd give you a bit of a flip through. So down here, this one says it was printed in Australia and yep, we have all the Publishing details, copyright details, photography, all rights reserved. Um, okay, here. So, yep, text and design, Green Jean Greenhoff 2014. Uh, originally published in the UK and USA in 2005. But it's a beautiful book. So, assuming I don't make anybody sick, we'll take a look at it. Okay, yeah, so that design is an old one. It's just, it says in here, because I read some of it, that um, she um, was finding um, samplers, old samplers, and, get, and repairing them or getting them repaired. Uh, she has charted some of them. Um, there was one that she's charted with permission, so there's lots of information in this book. There's an introduction. Uh, I'm not going to read it all to you. Um, but... It's a beautiful book. It's all about using the book, about what linens she recommends and all that sort of thing. It shows pictures of different samplers. Uh, I'll pull you back a bit. So that one's Mary Fowler sampler. She's got details in there of when the samplers were created. Brief history of samplers. Now, once again, I don't have chat on. So if you turn up and want to chat, sorry, um, you'll just have to leave um, comments in the just comment section below. But I really wanted to show everybody this book, um, Eliza Long Map of England and Wales. Now I will skip the pages that actually have the charts themselves on them. I don't know if that will breach some sort of copyright or if people can pause and do them from there if um, I show the design patterns but I'm so I'll skip past those pages. Adam and Eve samplers. So you can pause it and read that yourself. Um, Mary Ann Collins Gollan sampler. Okay, and this is the sampler itself. Oh, it is beautiful. Okay.
Okay, Garden of Eden sample. Um, so yeah, she talks about different histories of different samplers. So the next page has got a, there's a pattern on it, so I'll skip those ones. Okay, I'll go over to here. House samplers. So... There are Flitcroft sampler. Um, I don't know if this is focusing well enough for you to be able to read, pause and read that. It doesn't look like that is. But I'll read this one. This one says, Life is a city full of crowded streets. Death is the marketplace where all must meet. If life was merchandise that men could buy, the rich alone would live and the poor alone would die. Great God, and wilt thou condescend to be my, well, I got here, to be my father and my friend, or wilt thou listen to the praise that such a child as I can raise? Art thou my father? Let me be a meek, obedient child to thee, and try in word and deed and thought to serve and please thee as I ought. Art thou my father? I'll depend. Upon the care of such a friend, and only wish to do and be whatever seemeth good to thee. Art thou my father then at last, when all my days on earth are past? Send down and take me in thy love to be thy better child above. Now, I am not a religious person. You would class me as an atheist, but I can appreciate the work, the time that has gone into a sampler like that to think that they did it when they were young on very fine linen possibly by candlelight um, it is amazing it truly is English wildflowers flower sampler uh, so very very pretty they are beautiful next one's got next ones have got um, patterns on them so I'll flip them over. Wild Hedgerow House. Okay so there we go. So here's the sampler. It is pretty. I admit I like the samplers because they've got the flowers on them. It's a beautiful one that one. Some of these have got um, other stitches that I don't know how to do, but if I really wanted to do them, I could um, adapt them. Okay, flipping more pages. This one's got alphabet sampler. Okay, Janet Baird sampler. And... That one's a bit darker, must be on just darker linen. But the work that is involved. Fanciful flowers alphabet sampler. Oops, oh, 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 oh. don't do that. Okay, show the patterns, woman. Might get in the trouble. <coughs> Behave yourself. Don't worry, I can rouse myself. Okay, so map samplers. I would not have thought of people doing map samplers. I've certainly learnt a lot looking through this book. Um, it's definitely a beautiful book. I definitely would recommend um, anybody purchasing this book. Uh, map of England sampler. There are some samplers in here I would like to do eventually, but not for um, Stitch Mania. All about creating your own samplers. There's the map of England sampler. Oops, don't do that. Woman. You think I'd learn by now? Slight learner. Oh no. Okay. 
darning samplers. Now I never ever thought about they do samplers involving darning. So that was really interesting. Okay. Gardenia darling sa darning sampler. Yeah, when I got this book I thought oh I've got to show off this book it's just absolutely beautiful it really is uh, skip the patterns I remembered this time I remembered to skip them oh doing well spot motif samplers yeah I certainly don't want to show anything I'm not supposed to Sarah Hubbard sampler I mean such fine detail and they did it on such fine linen they definitely show us up now okay uh, no pattern on the next page bugs and beasts motif sample got lots of interesting little tidbits in it the pattern red samplers samplers worked in one color so you really and you could do it in any color you want I mean Jane Greenhoff in here says actually says you know you can do these samplers in whatever color you want um, but I just love the way that people um, try and preserve them okay okay bristol orphanage sampler mm. the detail is beautiful even in one color it looks good me i'd probably have to do it in blue Okay, skipping pattern. Italic alphabet. All about how to make cushions. Um, I'm terrible with the sewing machine. Anything to do with the sewing machine, uh, I'm away from there. So I won't be doing cushions. Berlin wool work samples. So I spent some time sitting down reading some of this book this morning when I got it. And I'll probably sit down again sometime and read some more of it. Berlin Swallow Sampler. <coughs> now I don't know if you can get this book from anywhere other than Amazon. I, don't, I got mine from Amazon Australia. <coughs> But this is definitely, I think, I personally think this is definitely a book worth having, even if it's just for um, reading to learn about the history of samplers and seeing some of the beautiful books. Quaker school samplers. I actually had to ask my partner what a Quaker was because I had never heard of it. Um, so he explained it to me. I had never come across the term. Quaker until I had um, watched some floss tube videos. Um, this one says that she um, reproduced some of it with their permission from the Quaker school. Uh, Quaker style sampler. Oops, don't show patterns. I better keep checking the page before I actually turn it over. That's what I need to do. It's just so interesting. Band samplers. And Holden sampler. So you can probably pause this as you, we go and read some of this. Or if you want to have a look at it. Um... But the work is totally amazing, it really is. Floral Garden Band Sampler. So now I know the longer ones are actually called a band sampler. Um, 
I always just thought everything was just cross-stitching and think about samplers and all these sort of things but it is beautiful this one's got some stitches in it that I won't be doing um, the ones with the holes in them see those ones yeah I won't be doing that so I'd probably do something else in there maybe if I decide to do it repeat another band one of the other bands instead and replace it that's beautiful <coughs> Um, so there's the different instructions on the different bands. What pattern? Don't look. Look at my um, Duna cover instead. Look at my Duna cover instead. Ah, I'm being derpy today. Sampler box. Okay. So this is Jean Greenhoff's sampler box. There are instructions on how to make it. Okay, I won't show you the instructions. Okay. So that's what the box is like. So it all opens up into different sections with the scissors and all sorts of things. And then we come up to all the instructions and patterns for the sampler, which I'm not going to show. And then we get into techniques. Um, Alice Flower Sampler Book. So that must be one of the old books. You can just see how old it is with the binding and the paper. It's just amazing, it truly is. Okay, and then back to basics. Talking about materials, kneases, not kneases, needles. If I can get my words right, threads, scissors techniques well you clever people probably wouldn't need to know any of that okay different goes different stitches uh, when I finish something even if it's small I thought I might actually show you before I put it away uh, that Algerian ice stitch I've done that one before um, I know how to do French knots um, these flowery ones, I'm not going to do them. I don't really, it's getting more into embroidery and I don't want to do embroidery. I don't want to any, do anything that I'll have to think about too much. All it does is give me a headache and I don't like headaches. You clever people probably know how to do all this stuff anyway. But yeah, this back of the book is all about all the different stitches, which is very useful. Not so much for me, but I'm sure it will be for somebody else. But they say, well, I watch um, Anne from A Colourful Life, she does colouring, and she, she has said, she's learnt never say never, so that's fair enough. Because I have actually considered having a go for the time, first time in my life, have a go at stitching on linen. Um, I've been thinking about it and thinking about it and thought, well, why couldn't I do it? There's no reason why I can't do it. It's just practice like everything else. So, positive thinking? Never know. DNC to Madeira conversions. Okay, we've got acknowledgements. Uh, I'll leave it up to you if you want to pause to read. Uh, further reading um, I hope I haven't shown too much of this book to breach any copyright or anything like that okay and then we've got suppliers index and then back to the copy of the publishing detail so yeah, that is a very, very beautiful book. So I definitely would recommend this book for people who if they like stitching samplers or if you just want to read it and learn about samplers. I hope you enjoyed this and I am expecting more mail to come in and I will show you my mail as it comes through. Please stay healthy. Bye.